Zatanna, Bring Down the House, issue number two. Ah, just fun to come back to this book. I, I really dig it. This is specifically my vibe. I love this character. I love this artwork. Javier Rodriguez is doing some great work over here. Holy shit, this book looks incredible. It is so different. I love the flow. I love the lettering. I love the colors. We're just doing something really specific with a character that's been not, you know, pushed to the sidelines. That's wrong. But it's been a minute since Atana really got to emerge as something special. But here she is doing something special. We open up this book and we see a missing poster for a kid that's missing. We know that Zatanna did some magic when she was a little girl and this kid went missing. So now it's the middle of the night and her father bursts into her room and says, come with me, we're going to fix your mistake. The entire time he is clouded in shadows and a big flowing cape. Just, um, you can't tell what he is or what he looks like. It's just supposed to be like an ethereal being. Very classic Vincent Price or The Shadow. It is so cool. So, we're going to fix your mistake, Zatanna. Stand here and say exactly what I say. We'll cut back to that story in a bit because we have to go to the present day where there was a huge incident that took place at Zatanna's show. And then we cut back to see her in the midst of the Battle of a Big Demon. We also see the character who's just the magic user, still not named, but we're just seeing a big fight ensue. And it looks great, and it's so much fun, and I love the designs, and I'm just going to keep reiterating that this is one of the coolest looks we've had for Zatanna in a long time. This character that is fighting the demon is telling Zatanna, you have magic in you, please help me to do this. And she's like, I don't have magic. And she's like, fine, forget it then. Just go away and don't die. And this character gives themselves a big energy sword so they can fight the demon. And that's what we're doing. Zatanna is not taking the call to be a hero. She's just like evading fire. There is somebody trapped in like some smoke somewhere about to be hit by some rubble. She saves them. And the person's like, you're out of your mind. That's so stupid. And she's freaking out. She's freaking out. And that's when the big demon's not doing good. And the town's like, I guess I'm going to have to help somehow. I don't know how I'm going to help, but I'll try something. So she's trying to like reach out to save this mysterious person to help her. Turns out Zatanna, as we all know, because we've read comic books before in our life and know who this character is, she is magic. And when she touches like the magic hand of this beautiful lady, she gives her more magic. And now our mysterious figure has more magic to fight off the demon and she can win the day and fight the demon. And you're like, cool, yay, awesome. The day is saved. Everyone got a power up. Zatanna is still wearing her magic costume. It's great. She puts her top hat on and she's like, this was crazy. I'm going to have to find a new job. Everything about this sucks. I'm going home. And she's like, no, you're not going home. You're coming with me to where I work. And we're going to solve this problem. There is some pseudo tension and chemistry between these two characters. Perfect idea. I don't care what you do of either of them. So this lady's going to open up a portal. They're going to go to the Palace of Casters. And when they get in there, it's just like a big weird palace. You know, everyone's in big stupid robes. There's like endless staircases. It looks insane and crazy. Because that's what we're doing here. It's an insane and crazy thing that we're doing. And some elders of the place, the Celestial, the leader of the casters or whatever, she shows up and she's like, oh, Zatanna, yeah, your dad was like important here. And he helped us do a lot of stuff. She's like, yeah, that makes sense. My dad's a fucking lunatic. And he was a weird guy. They're like, look, we need your help because we knew that you have the magic in you to kill your dad. Because that's what we're saying here in order to like fix the mistakes that Zatanna made when she like made the boy go missing she accidentally kills her dad and like a similar thing happening and that's the death of Zatara and she gets taken into like custody to go to foster homes and they're like you have so much power in you you could help us do so much stuff if you joined like our cult we could train you in magic you'd be okay you'd be okay Zatanna just saying babe you join us and be good. She's like, I don't want to do that. There is no part of my being that wants anything to do with your weird magic cult. I also don't need you to reiterate my life story. 
I know it. I was there. I remember every bad moment of my childhood. But of course they were there. The Celestial was watching them the whole time because they know how powerful she can be. They're going to be lurking in the shadows. And that's exactly what they were doing. The Palace of the Casters is always watching Zatanna. Of course they are. Now, let's just take a break for a second, because, uh, you know, th I'm not the first person to say this. I just kind of want to, like, bring it up, because I see this artwork and these depictions of Zatanna has her eyes just looking really big and kind of just, you know, very particular in look. And I know that's a lot of, like, Javier style, but somebody threw out the fan cast of Ella Purnell as Zatanna, and I see this artwork. And I'm like, that's a great idea. Look at our big silly top hat. You tell me Ella doesn't have these bangs? She does. So I like that. Zatanna doesn't want to be a part of this. So she's not going to be a part of it. She's just going to be like, hey, I know close-up stupid tricks and stuff. Is this your card? Cool. I'm going to go. And the lady that brought her there grabs her hand. And we like hold on the hand for a minute because we want to like show you their connection. And then she's like, let's just take you back to your stupid condo. You can get on with your life. Goodbye. So she is dumped back into her condo. And realizes something's up. Something is very peculiar about this situation. She starts smelling the air. Somebody is cooking some weird food. Carrot soup? In her kitchen? That's weird. Who's in her house? Is it the rabbits? My first thought was, oh, a rabbit is now like talking to her because it's a magic animal kind of a lady is a rabbit lady and she's like we need to talk the casters are lying to you and you're lying to yourself as well and you're like <laughs> fun rabbit character no idea who this is supposed to be but cool love the aesthetic love the costume love the colors oh my goodness do I love the colors? This book is so gorgeous. I love this artwork so much. It's very pulpy and just reminds me of like that classic style of Vegas. And I love Las Vegas so much. So just doing this, it's so cool. It's so unique. It's what this character has needed for a while now. And that's just somebody to push her again, to get her to a new position. And yes, this is a book that's either in continuity or out of continuity that's set in the past. It doesn't matter. This is what the character is needed. That's what we are giving her. It's working for that and that alone. And because of that, it's exactly what you want to see from this book. This is so much fun. So much fun. It just, ah, oh, it's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. The lettering is so special too. I love every aspect of this thing. So, Zatanna, bring down the house. Issue number two. I am going to give an 8 out of 10. Now, thank you all for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And of course, I will catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.